looking good. So one of the other devices I've got is the uh, Asus UX305, the ZenBook UX305, which is the ultra thin Ultrabook from Asus that comes in Core M7 and Core i7 versions. I've got the Core M7 version here uh, with, uh, from Notebook Check and that scored an 88, I think, or maybe even an 89% score in our test. No, I think 88%. Uh, the Core M7 version with a 512 gig SSD, eight gigs of RAM. And I'm looking forward to testing that for well, actually against uh, Lenovo Mix 700, which the uh, which I tested recently, the Switch 12, which was the Core i7 version I tested recently, and the Spectre X2, which was a Core M7 version. And I got some really good rendering speeds out of those and was pretty impressed at how long the battery life uh, lasted during those uh, renders as well. It was pretty much as fast as uh, a two-year-old uh, Core i7, so the M7, the M5 are really up there now with uh, what Ultrabooks used to be a couple of years ago. So that's really good. So that's, I'll be testing that soon. Literally uh, 10, 20, 30 minutes ago, two more devices came in. Well, these two boxes, I don't know what's in them. I'm kind of tempted to go and grab them, but I won't uh, because I need to get this MSI G G72S done. It's not heavy at all and uh, get the video up of that as soon as possible so thank you for watching the live stream thank you for feeding back uh, testing 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 there's lots of things to sort out here overlays we're working on uh, multi-cam situations here don't get your shoulder in the way steve um, how i preview it how i control it how the lighting works how the audio works can i do an offline video at the same time i'm recording the stream offline i'm recording the two cameras as well so i can do a post edit multi-cam all sorts of things happening here loads of testing so i appreciate the feedback i'll hang around on the live channel uh, for a few minutes but that's it that's it for this offline recording